Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone, this is Hamayu and in today's video I'll be talking to you about the difference in differences. I'll be explaining it not in a great detail but you know for the understanding of those who don't know about difference in differences. And after a brief explanation I would like to estimate the difference in differences while using the R studio. So first of all have a look at uh, what difference in differences is and why do we use it and where do we use it and how can we use it. So, for example, uh, there is a village called Zaguba and in Zaguba there are thousands of farmers. It's actually a sort of agrarian society living there, relying solely on the, on the farming. So, what actually government is trying to do in village Zaguba, government wants to, you know, increase their yield per acre. So there are 50,000 farmers and government wants to train them. So for example, if government train, you know, 10,000 of them, I mean, government select a proper sample. And if you see in this green and then train them. So after their training, what they'll be interesting in, they'll be interesting, you know, in the difference between the yield per acre of those farmers who got the training against those farmers who who did not get the training. So, so what is difference in differences and how it can help us, you know, in estimate the mean difference? We can simply, you know, estimate the mean difference between those who got training and those who did not get the training. But once again, as I already told, you know, in my previous video on the propensity score matching, there is always a problem of selection bias. Maybe the government train those, you know, farmers who have, you know, who have a well of backgrounds, who have a lot of wealth and they are using multiple fertilizers and other things, which has actually increased their, you know, yield per acre rather than the specific training. So in order to deal with this selection bias problems and in order to deal with those factors who comes, you know, from backdoor and plates part, I mean, the overall endogeneity issue, uh, difference in differences is a very good measure and it is very, you know, important measure in order to deal with the selection bias problem. So what is difference in differences? Basically, if I give you a very simple explanation, if you look at this slide, first of all, the government, for example, is trying to train a certain number of farmers and we, we call them as treated group in this red line. And the rest of the farmers who did not get the training will, will be considered as control group, right? bifurcated these groups back in 2020. So this is 2020 is actually a pre-training year. This red line is actually indicating the year in which they got the training. So 2021 is actually the training year. And after 2022, the, we, we, we still have both of these groups, the one that received the training and the one which did not receive the training. So the thing that, that we need to consider is actually the bifurcation of the treatment and control before the training and we see the impact of control and treated group after the training. So for example, the government when, you know, bifurcated these two groups, they checked the difference of them. So in that case, the treated group that government was trying to train has, you know, a 530 kg per acre of yield. You know, they were actually producing 530 kg of wheat or whatever it is per acre, while the control group had 580 kg per acre. So there was a difference. Remember, we will always subtract, you know, the, the mean of, you know, the quantity of the control from the treated. So the difference was minus 50. It means the treated group that government was going to train was producing 50 kg less than those who were not going to train. And then in 2021, the training happened. And after 2021, in 2022, government now checked the impact. So if you see the treated group who got the training here 
has you know increased the yield per acre to 640 and the control group you know has also increased the yield per acre to 585 from 580 to 585 but now the difference is positive it's 55 from 640 to 585 so, sorry the difference from if we subtract 585 from 640 it's 55 positive 55 so what is difference in differences here difference in differences is actually the pre training you know difference minus the after training difference that is actually the difference in differences if we subtract you know the the after uh, the pre training difference from the after training difference we see there is 105 kg per acre difference so this difference is actually caused by you know the training because we have properly controlled for other factors we have you know subtracted pre pre training you know the yield per acre and we have subtracted after you know the training yield per acre and we have checked the difference in these two differences which is 105 kg per acre so this is actually the difference in differences so now let's move on to the to the calculation in r studio so how we going to calculate it how we can you know use it in the r studio so for example if you see this data i have too many variables but the variables of concern are actually very few let me first explain what this data is about this data is actually about the training of the government and the government is actually trained you know uh, the self employed people in order to increase their real income so the y variable the dependent variable the, the variable of the importance is actually the real income of them and you know the training happened in 2009 and before 2009 in 2005 they have segregated these two groups into the control and the treatment group and they have checked the difference and then they you know they gave training in 2009 and uh, and then in 2014 they have once again you know received the data and checked the difference of the same segregated group that they had the data back in 2005 right so the so what are the variables of the concern are actually you know the first one is the real income of them the second variable which is very important is actually the treatment variable who has received the training and who has not received the training if i show you this is actually the variable here it is the training those who received the training got one and those who hasn't received the training has you know we have given the value zero so it's a categorical variable of valuing one and zero the second variable is the time variable which is very important prior the training and post the training here we have data of 2005 that is prior the training and we have data of 2014 which is after the training so what we going to do let's first name few variables in r for example let's name the real income variable as y variable so m data y is equal to m data real income 1 right so I've named the dependent variable, which is real income one, as y variable. The next variable, which is important, is actually the treatment variable. So the training variable is actually serving as the treatment variable. So let's name it as treatment. M data dollar treatment is equal to M dot data dollar training right so we have training variable we have our dependent variable that is real income one and we have time variable i've given the value of one to those to the prior training and i've given the value of two to the after the training so we have already defined this time variable as time so for 2005 we have one and for 2014 we have two the third variable that we need is very important is actually the interaction term between the treatment and the time the training variable and the time variable so it's the interaction term so let me call this variable as did difference in differences variable important variable 
So m delta did is equal to that is actually the interaction, the multiplication of the treatment variable and the time variable. So m data dollar treatment steric m data dollar time. So this is our interaction variable. Now, what we before moving towards the estimation of you know the 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 DID, let me show you first the mean difference of you know the control group and the treated group. So there is a function for it. We call it apply. So apply m data dollar y, which is our dependent variable, the real income, right? And the second variable is our treatment variable m data dollar treatment. Okay, those who have received the training and those who have not. And the third is actually the function. I'm giving here is the mean of the real income of those who has received the training and those who hasn't received the training. So, see, those who have received the training has $3,031 or whatever you call real average real income and those who hasn't received the training you know has has two to seven four of you know their uh, real income so how are we gonna you know estimate the sorry the did difference and differences so let me call it as let me call it as uh red did regression of the did did so simple lm function we'll be using lm so for the lm first you know the first thing you need to put is the dependent variable which is y i've already named it as y y is dependent on treatment right treatment is important variable and then time and the last one is the did variable that i've already created through the interaction of the time and the treatment so this is the did variable so what is the data comma data is equal to m data right run it okay so this is the did regression now let me show you you know the results so for that we'll be using the summary function summary reg did see here we have the results so if you see the coefficients the coefficients are important this did coefficient is very important it means the difference in differences as i've already shown you you know on the on the slide this is actually the difference in differences so if we subtract you know the before the training difference and then after the training difference and we check the difference between these two differences is actually 966 so there is a clear impact of this training. Those who has received the training, you know, is actually earning. So their real income is actually more by $966 as compared to those who hasn't received the training. So that was all about the difference in differences and its estimation in our studio. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Love us.